Uh, this is the code of convolutional tree vibrator. First of all, I will run this code. The memory has been cleared. I will read this input dart view file uh, that I have stored somewhere in my directory. I will play this song. <laughs> At line number 8 the total number of samples will be calculated and you can see that the length of the input wave is 20,000 2 leg uh, samples the total number of samples are 2 leg so to calculate the play back time I will divide uh, the total number of sample by the sample frequency so sample frequency uh, so it will give me the time so the total playback time is 9.0703 second to date uh, i will create a pause up to date playback time so that during which the whole audio may be complete its sound after that i will input from the user uh, input I will ask the user to give some input data regarding the impulse response so I am the user so I want at the time uh, 6 second in impulse to be generated and the amplitude of that impulse to be 0 0.5 So at this line an impulse has been generated uh, at the same time which I have mentioned. Here the input dot waveform will be displayed. You can see that uh, this is the input waveform and the amplitude of that input waveform is this one. I have represented this with blue color. Now, uh, I want to convolve the input waveform the, with the impulse response. This is will be the total length of the impulse response. The input waveform has been converted into Fourier domain. Similarly, impulse response has been converted into Fourier domain, and both the product of both have been uh, calculated and inverse. Fourier transform of the product represent uh, the time domain signal, uh, which is actually a share a method of convolution. Uh, if uh, we convert the input um, <coughs> impulse response and the input signal into Fourier domain, um, and we take a product of those two and convert back to into time domain, so this process is just similar to the convolution. So the convoluted signal in the its normalized form is here. It is uh, 399 samples. I will plot this output waveform and you will see the result. Since this is the original signal and this is the revibrated with amplitude uh, 0 0.5 and started at sample 6 second. So uh, now I will play this one is the impulse response. I will play this sound and you will see. I will store and save this file.